Hey guys, it's me. Happy Friday. I'm so excited that you're joining Blair and I today for Coffee Date. If you haven't already, be sure to pop over um, and say hi to her. Follow along um, and get to know her a little bit. She is amazing. Blair and I met at Influence Conference um, in October and in just a short period of time, um, she just walked her way right into my heart and not only do we share a kindred love for Tennessee, but also for um, Jesus and building community. And so I'm so excited that she agreed to co-host with me today. So please make sure that you go by and say hi to her. Um, today we have a theme. We're talking about high school, throwing it back to the old school. Um, I feel like I need to bust out my, you know, MC Hammer moves and... Uh, maybe do the Macarena for you? No? Anybody? Alright, whatever. Um, I do have to tell you though, before I talk to you a little bit about high school, I'm pretty pumped about my new arm party. Check it out. Got an early Christmas present for my husband. Gotta brag on him a little bit. Didn't even... He told me that... Um, I, had, I knew I wanted a gold watch for Christmas, but I hadn't said anything to him because I figured in the whole scheme of things, like we're so blessed with everything that's going on in our lives right now, we, you know, a watch is no big deal. But he ordered it and then he couldn't wait to give it to me. And then when I told him how he knew I needed it, he just said he guessed that I needed it to complete my arm party. So I'm pretty excited about that. But um, if we were having coffee today, I'd be making some coffee for you at my house. Do you take it black? Sugar, creamer, I'm a vanilla creamer kind of girl. I probably would have some treats for you to share, something with chocolate in it, because I love chocolate. Do you like chocolate? I hope you do. Um, if we were having coffee today and we were chatting about high school, oh my gosh, I don't even know how I would choose what memory to tell you. In fact, I've been kind of going back and forth on this for like the last couple weeks. Um, since Blair and I picked the theme, I'm like, what am I going to tell you guys? I mean, high school is a long time ago. Guys, I'm old. I'm going to be 33 in March. I can't even believe I'm saying that um, out loud. But I'm going to be. So, you know, I graduated in 98. 98. So, 2008. 2002, that's like 14 years ago. But I thought I'd share something funny and fun with you. Um... So I met my high school best friend when I was a freshman. She, um, I went to school in Malaysia. Um, if you're new here, I grew up overseas um, from the time I was five until the time I was 18. I lived in Brunei, Hong Kong, Thailand, and I ended up in Malaysia. And I was there for um, half of middle school and all of high school, which was really great because a lot of expatriate kids moved around a lot. And so a lot of my friends were kind of in and out six months to a year, sometimes two years. So the fact that we got to stay put for five years was pretty awesome. Um, but my best friend moved from Singapore to, um, to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, or halfway through my freshman year. And we had a mutual friend who knew her when they were in Singapore and they had already moved to Malaysia. And they said, oh my gosh, you guys would totally get along. You need to meet. Um, make sure you find her. So I spent the whole first week of school, like, going out of my way looking for her. Um, could not, like, she wasn't in any of my classes. I finally sat down in, like, my final class, um, my final new class. And I introduced the, uh, myself to the person sitting next to me. And lo and behold, it was her. And instead of just acting like a normal, calm person, I completely freaked out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have been looking for you all week. Someone so said we need to be friends. And um, I just, like, I probably scared the crap out of her, to be honest. <laughs> because I was so excited and I um, I couldn't believe that I would finally found her. It was like, for me, it was like we've, I had found my long lost friend. For her, she's like, who's this crazy person that knows who I am? And I have no idea who she is. Anyways, um, we met and that became, I think we met on a thurs Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday, she um, spent the night at my house that weekend. She actually spent the whole weekend at my house. It was crazy. We got along so well, we instantly connected. And um, so for me, that was like a really great memory. We're still friends. We were both in each other's weddings. 
Um, and mate, well, she got married first, so I was her maid of honor and she was my matron of honor, which is so awesome. And we both have two kids and we still talk, even though she lives in Texas and I'm here. And, but this one time we went to, um, her dad was having um, his a business associate over for dinner and I happened to be at her house that weekend and I should uh, maybe disclaim that when I met Aisha I had um, this kind of purplish black hair <laughs> um, I enjoyed change so I would change the color of my hair a lot because when you're 15 years old that's really all you can change so um, I had this purplish black hair so you know, I'm over at their house, I get introduced to this, you know, business associate guy of my friend, and um, as we were walking away, we hear <laughs> her dad's business associate lean over and tell her dad, wow, you know, what, you know, like, what kind of school is your daughter going to? Like, what kind of friends is she making? Are you worried? And um, so it's just kind of funny because... Here I am, this completely non-rebel, rule-abiding <laughs> kid who just had purplish black hair that made friends with this girl who probably thought I was crazy when I met her, and then, you know, I had purple hair. What can I tell you? So I rocked that purple hair for a little while. I did red hair for a while. I have done black hair, blonde yeah, you name it. It's probably one of the only things that I used to be very much a risk taker with my hair and then grew my hair out. And now I'm a lot less of a risk taker because I do enjoy having my hair longer. So anyways, now that I've talked your ear off, you tell me if we were having coffee today, what would you tell me about favorite moment, embarrassing moment, whatever, from when you were in high school? Um, I can't wait to see.